Hey everybody, my name is RJ Brown, I'm with Second Wind Water Systems and today we wanted to show you a fun activity that you could have with your kids at home and has a little bit to do with water and how water reacts with different types of materials in the ground. So what we have is three different types of material that water can pass through in the earth. This one right here is a mixture of gravel, some sand, and some dry leaves. This one in the middle just has big rocks and some gravel, kind of really simulates the type of material that's in a drilled well. And this one right here, we have some flowers and some potting soil. So what we want to do is just pour some water into each one of these, and then we're going to catch it with the cups on the end and see what kind of water quality we get out of each type of filter medium. So <clears throat> we're going to take this carafe right here, full of water, and we're going to first start with the leaves. And we're just going to get it saturated enough until water starts to pour out on the other end. And as you can see, the water coming out on the opposite end looks pretty clear. Okay, so now we're going to try pouring water over a different filter medium, which is just made up of large rocks and some gravel stones. Just want to get it saturated enough so that the water starts to come out. Not quite as clear as the first one. Okay, so for this last one, we're going to pour the water onto the flowers that are embedded into the soil. And this will kind of give you an idea of what it's like if you live in an area where you don't have a deep well, you might have a shallow well, or um, just not a lot of rock in your general area. Saturated. So, in conclusion, what we have is in the first one that we poured, you can see that the water is really clear, and that's a combination of having different filter type mediums with your gravel, your sand, and the leaves that help keep everything compressed and acted as a good filter for the water. So we get clear water. On the second one, when you just have a lot of mixed gravel and big rocks that are just basically crumbled and nothing is really holding them together, the water passes through it pretty easily and picks up all the minuscule dirt that comes in. And on the third one, soil coming from basically just erosion of surface water supplies that doesn't really have a lot compacting it, and the result is a pretty dark and dirty water.